So you guys have been asking a lot about tube calls. And in particular, how I call on a tube call, how to learn how to call on a, call, a tube call. All right, let's start from the beginning. All right, th this, this tube here is a tube by a gentleman in, in Pennsylvania, Phil Petka, Turkey Leg Calls makes it. Um, he, I probably got the call seven or eight years ago and I, I just, it doesn't leave my turkey vest. It's always with me. Um, I, I love the tonal quality. And for me, tubes are, are Jake talking. That, that's what I've gotten into. And yeah, I can cut and yelp on it and make a turkey gobble at a distance. But overall, I am Jake talking gobblers, uh, especially when they have hens um, early in the season, when they're in groups, uh, all that kind of stuff. But you can do everything on a tube, and we'll get into that. But real quick, the most important part of the entire process is putting the latex on the tube. If I can just show you how that looks, it is about a quarter of an inch. It's kind of in a concave type um, pattern on the back of the tube, if you can see that from corner to corner. Now, the tension of the latex is most important. I just pull the latex tight to where it's snug. No pulling down tension, no adding tension, and then I roll over the O-rings, and then I put back tension on, on the reed to give it the, the back tension that it needs, and I keep it soft. And I'll show you there. You can press that in and out, in and out very easily. Okay, so now that's the call. That That's really the most important part. The rest of it, I mean, it's just the has a big bell out on the end. You can cup your hands and do things like that to make different calls. But it's really important to make sure that your lip, your top lip goes over the top of the call. Your bottom lip will be adding pressure to the reed right here, giving it the sound. The sound comes from the bottom of your mouth, not the top of your mouth or the middle of your mouth. It comes from right here off of your bottom lip. And I rest it against the wooden piece in the bottom of the mouthpiece here. And I'm just barely pressing. And I'm yelping from my throat. That's a little bit of hen and, and gobbler. Now, for gobbling, the traditional way to gobble, and it's how I normally gobble, especially with Jake talk, is uh, ticka, 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 all right? Now that's a sequence, that's how I call to gobblers in the spring. Um, is that, doing that, yelping and gobbling, gobbling and yelping and a few clucks. All right, so that's the traditional way of gobbling. It takes a lot of practice. You need to get your reed right first. Once the reed has the right tension, it's much easier to call, okay? Now, the other way of gobbling, and it's, I, don't, I haven't really heard many people gobble this way on a tube. It's just the way that I do it. A lot of people can gobble multiple ways. Some people actually hold a tube call upside down and call into it. There's a lot of different things you can do. But the best way I can describe how I do this is, you know, when you're just like, you're like, it's that. Or if you're describing a grouse flame, like if you get that sound going, that's kind of what it's like. And it's really loud and it's a really good locator call. Uh, but this is like a long beard gobbling. So you can 
do a lot of different crazy sounds. It's real goosey sounding, but if you can get a good turkey sound, and I found that a tube for me sounds a lot like a Jake. Those are just some little, some little tips. Um, hit me up on Facebook if you need more.